Hi and welcome back. So I am here to make you smell good, feel good and be attractive. And today it's time to talk about five red flags in dating that you should never ignore. First up is the blamer. That's when you meet someone and they constantly blame others for everything that has gone wrong or is going wrong in their life. And if they do, you should take a step back because the next person they are going to blame is you. And sometimes things that do happen is more someone else's fault than your own, but not always, almost never actually. And if the person you are seeing always blames others, it's a sign that he or she is not capable of taking responsibility for their own actions. Another thing that stands out in this kind of behavior is the inability to apologize. Never ever saying I'm sorry and taking responsibility for something that they actually did. This kind of person is someone that you don't wanna end up in an argument with because it will always be your fault and you will always be the one to blame. And one thing is for sure, this kind of behavior doesn't get better with time, it gets worse. Next up is the ghost. This is a person who always leaves you wondering, coming in and out of your life as he or she wishes, like you are the freaking McDonald's drive through You meet up a couple of times and when you do, you have fun, but they always disappear, ghosting you for days weeks or even months, leaving you wondering if you really had a pleasant time together or if you just totally misunderstood the situation. Then popping back into your life as if nothing happened. And when they do that, they don't even comment why they have been invisible. And if you ask them about it, they may gaslight you and blame you for being crazy or controlling. In a light version, this doesn't seem like such a bad behavior. I mean, people live their life, things happen, and you can't be there 24 seven for someone that you are dating. But please never ignore this red flag because this is going to get worse. Coming up is the texter. If someone is keeping the conversation with you by constantly texting, never calling, never meeting up, they are just wasting your time. Texting is something they waste their time on when they are bored or just feel lonely. But as soon as that feeling passes, they go on living their life and forget all about you until they're bored again. You deserve someone that actually wants to connect with you, have deep conversations and get to know you. Those things doesn't happen over text. I have so many friends that texts with guys when they are bored or when the person they are dating isn't giving them enough attention. Don't be their pastime because there's just nothing in it for you. Next one the bullshitter. If you date someone that's just constantly bad mouthing their ex, they are probably not ready for a new relationship. If they moved on, they would have no need for bad mouthing the person they no longer have a relationship with. This person will not be able to love again before they have let go of their anger and their hurt. And this is also a red flag for someone not taking responsibility, always blaming others. But as most of us know, in a relationship, it's always a matter of two people behaving in different ways, both wrong and right. And blaming only the ex shows again that this person is not capable of seeing their own flaws. And even if their ex was a real psychopath and acted all wrong, there is still no reason to badmouth someone on a regular basis if you have moved on. Now don't ignore this red flag because you will be wasting your time on someone that's not ready for your love. Time to talk about the insecure needer. So trust issues is like poison. Trust issues doesn't belong in any relationship and definitely not with the person you are dating. Yes, the person may have been hurt in a previous relationship, but you have nothing to do with that. And if they have a fear of being hurt again, you are going to have trust issues right from the start. And as I say, trust issues are like poison. Either you choose to trust someone that you're with or you don't. And if you don't, you shouldn't be with that person. It's as simple as that. And that's what love is about. 
throwing yourself out there, being vulnerable, always at the risk of being hurt, but for the right person, it's worth it. And the right person doesn't have trust issues, which they stick on you. That's five red flags in dating that you should never ever ignore. There are so many red flags, so I could go on forever, but instead tell me in the comments about red flags that you never ignore when dating. Like this video, subscribe for more videos with me, and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.